Welcome back to Clarity Yoga. I'm Claire. This practice is dedicated to the hands and feet. If you think about how often you use your hands and feet during the day, it's no wonder that like the rest of your body, you can also experience tension and pain in these extremities. So with these few short exercises, I'm just going to show you how you can manage that pain and that tension and nurture your hands and your feet. So for the practice, all you need is a tennis ball or something that's um, as soft as a tennis ball. So it still has a little hardness, but it's also a little malleable. So you could also use a uh, massage ball, for example. So when you're ready, we're going to start in the standing position. So take your tennis ball and place it on the ground. So starting with the feet, we're just going to use the tennis ball to help ease out a little uh, tension and give it a little massage. So when you're ready, place your hands on your hips, create a little support in your standing leg with a soft bend in the knee, and then pick up your right foot and just begin to roll the ball backwards and forwards along the sole of the foot. So going all the way towards the heel, trying to cover every part of the sole of your foot, the instep, the ball of the foot. You can either come over the toes and start to massage through the toes as well. So do what feels good for that foot, applying as much pressure, as little pressure as feels comfortable for you. And so doing this for about, about 45 seconds to a minute, and you're stimulating the bottom of the foot, you're getting in between the bones, just easing out any tension that you have there. Try to keep your breath going as you're doing this. Just nice, gentle inhales and exhales. Do that one more time, one more breath. And then gently come off the foot and switch to the other side. I'll just straighten out my mat here. So coming onto your right leg, creating that support again in this standing leg, picking up the left foot start the process again. So working your way from the heel to the toes, trying to cover every part of your foot here. And if you find that you have any area that's particularly tense or painful, be gentle with it. Maybe you'd like to pause there, just gently work into that. Now if there's any sharp shooting pain when you do this, then please still stay away from that. The sensations that you're aiming for Maybe a dull, nagging sensation, but nothing that feels unbearable. So remember to listen to your body. Keep your breath going here. Taking one more full breath. And that's about a minute. And then you can come off your foot. And you can make your way down into a seated position and we'll carry on working into the feet while sitting. So once you're on the floor, you can put your tennis ball to the side. We'll use that a little later for the hands. So for sitting, you'd like to ensure that your back is relaxed. Ideally, you would come into the cross-legged position so you have access to your feet because you're going to use your hands and your fingers to gently massage into the sole of the foot. If you find that your back is feeling particularly tight today, just make sure that you've got plenty of padding underneath your sitting bones. So I have a stack of blankets here and you can place as much height as you need to underneath your sitting bones to feel relaxed in the spine. When you're ready, begin by taking your left foot, lifting it up a little off the floor and you can begin to massage into the sole of your foot all the way across your heel, all the way up to your toes. If this still feels quite uncomfortable for your back, you can always come into a chair to do these exercises. So take your time. Once again, you're just focusing on what feels good for your foot. So using your thumb, pressing into the sole and working your way all the way over. Try to cover every part of your foot all the way through to the edges, all the way up to the tips of your toes and give each of the toes a nice squeeze. Keep your breath going as you do this. You can even come round to the back of the heel, maybe into the ankle, that usually feels very good for me. And then stop there, turn your foot down, 
just take the heel of your hand and gently apply some pressure and rub from the ankle down the top of the foot to the tops of the toes. You can always use oil if that makes it more comfortable for your foot as well. I actually like the friction of the skin of my hand against the skin of my foot. So take one more breath here and take your time to switch to the other side. So re-establish your position whether you're on your chair or whether you're sitting cross-legged with me and then start again on the right foot. Now I like to hold my foot up in the air. If you find that you are more comfortable resting the foot on your leg, you can always do that as well. And for this side, remember again that you're trying to cover every part of the sole of your foot from the heel all the way up to the toes. Applying comfortable pressure, something that feels energizing and good. Remember to squeeze each one of your toes and maybe you'd like to come around the heel, around the ankle as well. Take one more breath and take your time to place the sole of the foot down using the heel of the right hand and you start that process again applying a gentle pressure or maybe you'd like to go a little stronger. Remember that each side is different, so this foot might need something completely different to your left foot. And then going all across the top of your foot up to the tops of the toes. Taking one more breath here. And release. Just come to your cross-legged position or if you're on your chair, just rest there, close your eyes and take a couple of breaths here, just drawing that breath all the way down into your feet. Noticing how you feel, maybe they feel warm now, maybe a little tingly. With the exercises you've just done, you've stimulated the blood flow there and you've got the energy flowing there again. One more breath here and then open your eyes and we'll move into an all fours position. So when you're ready, come into your all fours position, bringing a blanket underneath your knees if you'd like a little extra comfort. And then start by tucking your toes. Remember that even though your toes are tucked, if at any point this feels uncomfortable or is becoming unbearable for the soles of the feet or the toes, you can always untuck the toes and place the tops of the feet down. So once your toes are tucked, bring your hands a little closer to your knees and then turn them so that the fingers are facing your knees. We're going to work here into the wrists and into the inner forearms. So this may already be enough and you feel the stretch from the wrist going up the forearm. If you feel you've got a little more room to go further today, begin by releasing your hips down towards your heels. Now, as the weight of your hips goes down, you will also feel a little growing intensity in the foot. So once you've found an appropriate depth for your feet and for your hands, pause there, relax the shoulders down and breathe. So don't go too far too quickly here. You still want that pressure to feel comfortable. Maybe a little challenging, but definitely nothing sharp, nothing extremely painful. And let's take two more breaths here. And after your next exhale, begin to come back up again untuck your toes if they're tucked and then start to lift the palm off the mat bring your hips down towards your heels keep your fingers on the mat and we'll work into stretching the fingers here so again another couple of breaths working to your depth 
and then slowly begin to peel your fingers off the mat. If like me, your little fingers didn't really feel much, then you can always do your fingers individually here, starting with a little finger on one side and then the other. And since the thumbs were not on the mat, we do the thumbs now, just gently pulling the thumb back towards you, taking a breath there, and then doing the same on the other side. And then release your hands down. We're going to carry on working into the hands. So once again, if it's comfortable for you to come to a cross-legged position with me, then please do so. Otherwise, you can always do this exercise from a chair using a low coffee table or surface, somewhere where you can just lean down and you can use the tennis ball under your hand. So when you're ready, just come into your seat of choice. If you're coming into your cross-legged position, plenty of padding underneath your sitting bones. And then take your tennis ball. So starting with the right hand, you're going to place your tennis ball on the floor or the surface that you're using. Just rest your left hand wherever it feels comfortable and then start to massage your, um, the palm of your right hand over the ball. So similar to what we did at the start of class with the feet, you're trying to get into every part of the palm, across the heel of the hand and deep into your thumb pad. So once again, you apply as much pressure as feels comfortable for you, remembering that you're trying to target a nice comfortable feeling, a nurturing feeling, something that feels good. So you can make whatever movements feel good for your hand, whether they're circular or maybe you're going backwards and forwards, coming over the wrist. So remember that if you have any injuries, you want to be gentle. So I currently have a wrist injury in my right hand. So when I move over the wrist, I just pull back on that pressure and make it very, very gentle. If you ever have any bruising, then you definitely don't want to start massaging a bruise. So carry on staying connected to your breath here. And for the last couple of breaths, just gently move over the fingers. Even though we've worked into the, um, the joint that connects with the hand, it's nice to massage the gentle cushioning of those fingers. And into the thumb. Take one more breath. And let's switch sides. So coming off your left hand, changing sides using your right hand for some gentle support there, and start again on the left side, working into your palm, over to the edges, up to the connecting joint with your finger, round to that thumb cushion. Maybe towards the wrist, maybe you want to move backwards and forwards. So once again, just finding what suits your hand on this side, it may be different to your right hand. Keep the breath going. And then work into your fingers, just gently working up each finger, applying that gentle pressure at the tip. I find that always feels lovely. And if any part of this exercise doesn't suit you, then, you know, don't do it. Find a different way, something that feels a little more comfortable. Explore your body. And finally, the thumb. One more breath. And come off. Pause there, rest your hands on your legs, close your eyes. And once again, just notice how you feel. Draw your breath down into your hands. And gently blink your eyes open. So if you're in your chair, you can stay there. If you're cross-legged, then just change the cross of your legs and we'll finish with a little massage into the hands. Let's start with the right hand. So just as you did with your feet, take your thumb and start to work into your palm. So I've given you examples. So you can use your hands, you can use the tennis ball, maybe both, maybe just one feels more comfortable. Maybe you prefer the tennis ball or maybe you prefer to work with your 
with your hand here. They're different levels of massage. So keep your breath going. Work your way all over that palm and then come up each finger. So I do find this a little more effective than using the tennis ball, but I actually prefer using the tennis ball for massaging into my palm. So experiment and see what works best for you. Give each tip of your finger a nice squeeze, coming round to the cushion of your thumb and then all the way up your thumb. And then do the same that you did with your foot. So you're turning the palm down, you're taking the heel of your hand and you're just gently rubbing all the way up to the tips of the fingers. Remember your option, you can always use oil or just the friction of the skin against skin. That might feel really good for you. One more breath. And slowly come off. Let's start again. Left hand now, using the thumb of the right hand. Work your way over from the heel of the hand all the way up. Keep your breath going. And start to work your way up your fingers, one by one, giving each tip a squeeze. Coming across to the thumb pad and up the thumb. And take your time. When you're ready, turn your palm down. Take the heel of your right hand. Just start to work your way over the back of your left hand and all the way up to the tips of your fingers. One more breath here. And take your time to come up. Rest your hands on your legs, close your eyes. Settle your breath. And for the last part of these exercises, we're going to take five long breaths. So finding a depth of breath that suits your body. Gently directing your breath down into your extremities. That's three for me. And five, and you can blink your eyes open. So I hope you find that helpful. Remember that these are just examples. If you find a better way to nurture your hands and feet, then please do that, whatever feels good for you. This, is, this video is just to help you bring attention to those extremities. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Namaste.